Every year, the National Aeronautics and Space Administration holds a unique competition for young engineers and scientists. The goal of the competition is to create the most imaginative experiment designed to be conducted in zero gravity. The winning proposals fly on a specially equipped Boeing 727 that simulates a zero gravity environment and the students themselves conduct the experiments. This year, a team of six Lehigh students were selected to participate in NASA's Microgravity University. Zero gravity is really like nothing else I've ever experienced. At the point I realized that I was floating, I was already two feet off the floor. So you really don't feel anything at first. It's pretty much the coolest feeling in the world. So it's just real. It's really neat to experience. Well, welcome. Welcome to our uh, undergrad flight week for 2011. You're part of the largest flight year that we've had in the education program out here. My name is Amos Ambler, and I'm a sophomore at Lehigh University. I actually got a great opportunity out of it. Um, I was a freshman doing it, and the rest of the team members were all seniors um, with a lot of experience and hands-on. And so they had worked with Professor Grenestet also. Engineering professor Joachim Grenestet encouraged the team to follow up on an experiment that originally flew on the space shuttle mission STS-3 in 1982. So I was already interacting with Professor Grenestet, and he uh, was notified that the opportunity was available and had me look into it. So he suggested um, applying to the program. He saw it as an opportunity where I could benefit from it and it intrigued him. I think the, you know, the opportunity for students to fly in microgravity. The students designed the experiment to study the flight trajectory of houseflies in microgravity. And so what we wanted to look at is the initial uh, learning curve that the housefly goes through as it experiences microgravity and how it modifies its flight trajectories to cope with the changing conditions. By studying the flight of insects in microgravity, scientists can develop a better understanding of how thrust and lift work together for creatures with flapping wings. This knowledge could be applied to robotics and for the future development of a new class of aircraft. To me, I think there's a night and day difference between reading about something and actually doing it. Uh, just judging from working on the microgravity project during my freshman year, I think I got so much more out of the year than I would have otherwise. I mean, it's doing a lot of the same stuff that you do in class, physics equations, calculus, but you're actually learning to apply it along with the process of needing to completely think through an idea when you're trying to design something. You need to think of every angle, what could go wrong, you know, what are the outcomes, how else could this be done to, to accomplish the task more efficiently. And to me, that's something that you really can't beat and can't be, you can't get it out of a book. Hey, 